we are going on a journey to find the Goddess within, to become at one with the Goddess and heal the feminine light. So make yourself very comfortable and nice slow breathing and now allowing the Goddess to emerge and become at one with you more fully. For so long now you have kept your Goddess captive. You have kept her silent and you have kept your Goddess captive. You have kept her silent and you have kept her in a state of weeping. For so long now you have kept your Goddess in a dungeon at the very bottom level of your heart and of your soul afraid to let her out. She has power, so alive. You are afraid you cannot tame it into submission, for her hair is so long and wiry and flies with the wind. Her breasts run deep with passion and longings. She's not afraid of what might run in her veins, what runs in her thoughts, or what pulses through her thighs. She is one who embraces and straddles power, and as if she is the horse and the rider and the earth herself. She melds with all of life. She sups upon all of life. Now tell me again, why are you so afraid to let your goddess out? Are you fearful of her power she has? Her magic she possesses? I ask you to stand fully in your goddess, in her divineness. I ask you to see yourself wearing all of the costumes of fate. Absolutely beautiful. That you have worn throughout time. Some of you have worn veils over your face. Others have, have cloistered away. Each inch of their flesh, others have shown fully every curve of their being while others have just laid in the meadows and let the grass and flowers embrace you allowing nature touch you where no man of the east or the earth could notice the jewelry you are attracted to they are similar to the goddess you admire it is time now to let out your she to straddle the possibilities of the wild stallion of your personal future, riding it powerfully, gripping it with your flesh as you dig your heels into what is to come, holding on to the mane of something so powerful that you feel that you could lose yourself at any given moment. This is the passion that you must ride in the upcoming year, in the upcoming heartbeats, riding fully in all of your being, exposing yourself in ways you thought you never could, showing others your passions, your needs, your wants, and your raw power. You are all such beautiful beings, all different shapes and sizes and colors and personalities. Throw yourself into the pool of creation and blend with earth. Enjoy the fullness of your body or the slenderness of your body. 
for God touches and kisses every ounce of flesh that you are. Do not be ashamed if you are too little or too large, but know that the Goddess lives in every ounce of flesh that you wear. Wear her with your head held high as a queen that is drawn by a carriage of six white horses created from truth instead of mice and pumpkins. Do not be afraid that the clock will strike twelve and you will lose yourself again, for that day will never come. You are empowered, you are beautiful, you are gentle, and you are loved beyond your knowing. So see yourself being this way now, for this is truly who you are. The goddess is created because we all need to find our passion again. What runs dry in our veins is daily duties and obligations to others that do not appreciate how much love we put into everything we make, bake and say. We look for something or someone outside of ourself for all the passions. But what runs dry, once again, is daily duties which become a bore. We all patiently beside our lives waiting to be seen, heard and fully loved for who we are who we are not. The days pass in decades as we solidify the lady in waiting. We continue to play. We choose not to honour was in beautiful and powerful and healing inside of ourselves. We wait for others to validate our parking ticket as we sit in the waiting room of life, the true love that is sought by woman can only be seen within the deepest abyss of herself. Then and only then will the world mirror that in a manifestation of a sacred partner. The key that unlocks that portal is not time or a date or a season, the key that is sought in the biological experience of loving self first and then only then will outer love follow. Goddesses you have chosen, a favourite that you resonate with, take one full minute, close your eyes and turn softly to yourself, allowing a portal to open and see your own true goddess emerge and embrace with each other. Finally, not only at one with your goddess within, but also with your goddess Isis that you have always loved. Feeling love beyond any words that can say. So empowered and so blissful. At last, happy to have my feminine light healed and at one with my goddess. I am so grateful and blessed. I hope you've enjoyed this journey today. Hope you have felt your goddess emerge with you. I am Rosalie Muir. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.